Hey everybody, this is Renee from Simply Snapping Mom. In this video, we are gonna talk about what options you have for extra lighting in your pictures. The first option we're gonna talk about today is using the built-in flash on your camera. So I personally try to never ever use it and you'll see why. The flash is very harsh and straight, straight at the subject. So it creates a lot of shadows, it dulls the color, and it really flattens the image. And the reason you got a nice camera is so that you have an image that you can see depth in. And when I use the built-in flash, it completely takes that away. So the first option we're gonna go over today is the camera's built-in flash. I'm gonna take a couple pictures and show you why this is not the best option for your pictures. All right, ready, Lila, sit right there. And turn around. So as you can see on this picture, um, there is a shadow in the background. The colors really aren't that bright. And again, the image is kind of flat. Um, doesn't look like a great image. So this is basically the main reason why I never, ever, ever use my built-in camera flash. <laughs> but the next option we're gonna look at today, which I love, is my external flash. So this hooks right onto the camera here and you can use any different settings. So you could put it on manual mode, which is what I put it on. Um, so you could aim it at the subject and it would be kind of like the built-in camera flash. But what I do is I aim it at the ceiling. Yeah. And if I need a little bit of extra light, it comes with this white card here. So what this does is when the flash is bouncing off the ceiling, a little bit will bounce off this white card and go back to your subject. So it brings a little bit more light without that direct harsh light. Whatever you're aiming it at, you wanna make sure that it's white or close to white. If I had a red wall and I was aiming it at a red wall to bounce the light off of, the subject would look red because it would bring back a red light to the subject. So let me show you a couple pictures of Lila with my external flash. That's me. Okay, come sit down. Why do, you, why do you have to sit there? Okay, right here. Okay, great job. Now, you can see here that it brings a more natural light to the subject and a better portrait. Okay. All right, now the third option we're gonna show you today is studio lighting. So what that is, I have these here, and I purchased these for about $30. It comes with two umbrellas. So all it is is another setup here and a light behind an umbrella. So this brightens up the room also without a very harsh light to the subject. Obviously, if you're out and about, you can't bring your studio lighting, but it's a good option just if you're doing something in the house. So I'm going to turn these on and show I you a couple pictures of Lila. I'm going to turn on the lighting. Mommy, this is what, this, these lights are at my ballet. Where are they? Okay, take one more, scoot over your, here. Yep, right there. Okay. I feel like in, in those white rooms are made of. All right. Now this is what the picture looked like with those lights. Now let me show you compared to having no lighting in this room. How did you get that thingy off? How Ready, Eli? It's very dark. This is a very dark room. You might not be able to tell in the video. So this is what the pictures look like with no light. So you can see the, the different options here that we can do. So we can have the built-in flash, the external flash, or the studio lighting. Um, all right, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And check out my website and follow me on Facebook at Simply Snapping Mom if you want more photography tips. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.